Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this up on the iPad so I can see what's going on. And not quite there yet. So, da da da. Ping! There it is. Okay. <laughs> now I'll just put the camera into position. Now I'll just put the camera into position. You hear that? Oh, yuck. What an echo. I don't like echoes. It's very off putting. I have to remember to start turning down the volume to mute it before I start. So, let's see how good a shot that is. Pretty great. Awesome. I'll lift that up. So I've got that here so I can see your comments and let's get to it. So what I'm going to use tonight, this is a having a total blank 20 by 20, 12 by 12. Okay, I'll get back to you on that one. Um, all right, hang on, that's an 8 by 10. 10, 12 by 12, so 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres square, and it's been previously used but scraped straight away, and uh, yeah, so I thought it's a good size to test out this new painting idea. Um, this is from Elise Fournier. Um, I apologise if, so, if I've got that wrong and I will go back and check her videos just to make sure that I title this video the same way that she's calling the technique so I wouldn't want to stray away from what she actually labelled it so there we go okay so in that she uses a dirty pour well, what I've seen is a dirty pour and then put white around but also inject the white. And this is a fantastic way, if I figured, hello, um, to create cell-like effects like the lacing and whatnot without using silicone. And I adore that. So if if you don't need to use it, I don't feel like having it. So, this is, what's this one? My mixture of emerald green and cadmium yellow hue. And that's Creative Place Paints. So, yeah. I'm using all Creative Place Paints except the white. The white is my spring brand house paint. It's uh, interior low sheen acrylic and I get that from the local hardware store Bunnings. So these paints I mix with Atelier Pouring Medium and a Flood Flow Troll. And, but the white, the house paint, I only mix with Floetrol. So, right. Hang some colours. So you've got the lime green that I create, cobalt blue, raw sienna, I think. I'll have to check that. And this is a turquoise that I created from the... Cobalt blue, emerald green, and titanium white. So we're going to also hit that with a dash of gold. This is Anita's classic gold. So I'm just going to layer that on top, and then that way when it pours out, it might pour out in amongst the colours. Hi Barry. Hi Leslie. You're from England. Mm -hmm. Is it early morning? What time? 
So just going back in order through these paints, having a look. Hi, Vinish Art. How are you? Back through these paints, layering them. This brown reminds me of chocolate. Ugh. Now I want chocolate. All right, so we've pretty much got a full cup there. Hi, Leslie. Oh, yeah. Leslie, 11.15 a.m. Oh, nice. How's your day going? Right. That's in there. And I just want to give it a little bit of a stir to mix it through. Oh, hang on. Add a little bit more gold to the top. Give it a stir. And then pull it out. Oh, I'm loving those colours already. How is the feed? Where I see it coming through on my iPad is a little um, pixelated, perhaps, is the right word. Great. Having a coffee. Oh man, you know, I love coffee. It's um, 9.20 p.m. So not too late for me to have a coffee. I will do that now afterwards. Well, I hope you enjoy. I hope you get some inspiration out of it. Okay, so this is going to be a dirty pour. And then we're going to do the injecting with the white. Okay. Let's see. I'm just lifting that up just a little bit to help with the flow. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> I've been a little bit absent for the last five days or so. And... Just got to get back into the flow of it. Alright, so I've got some white paint. I'm going to pop this around the sides. This is the same paint that is in this squirt bottle. So that when I inject it in, I'm not using two different paints. Just want to take that to the edges. Oh, picked up some colour. That's because I was being so rough. Still around to watch the box. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you, Barry. You'll love that. He checks the mail after school. That's one of his jobs. Just about done with spreading this white around and it's just to make sure what's going on here something went wrong okay just checking are we still on everybody I hope so Sorry for the movement, I do try to do it a little bit gentle. Oh good, Whew. Thanks Leslie. <laughs> a little bit of a minor panic there. Okay. Alright, there are a lot of air bubbles in here so we'll give it a torch just to clear out the ones that are already there. Oh, 
I think this is going to prove to have beautiful reactions because over here where I got too deep when I spread the white, let me see if you can see that. It's already got some type of, I can't tell if you're in focus, sorry, okay, I'll move on. So, here is our injector white, <laughs> like working on a car. Alright, so, what you do, you might just spread this a little, whoops, I didn't mean to go that far, not at all, that's okay, it's not a problem. Alright, so, hold that down out of your way, push it in and give it a squeeze under the paint. So in, under, can you see that effect? I hope I'm actually not sucking up browns and greens into here though. Try and get that. Yeah. Hey, that looks cool. What an amazing idea this was. All right. So this bottle looks filthy. Let's see. There is a little tint of the colours coming through when I squeeze out the paint. So I know that some of it did suck up inside the bottle. Cause of that. So now, I can see air bubbles, I can start seeing reactions. Let me see if I can zoom you. Whoa, sorry, I didn't really mean to make you dizzy. Sorry, it seems to be very sensitive. That fell. <laughs> okay. The end result of all of that is that we did seem to get you zoomed in closer to the painting. And I do massively apologise for all of that movement. So, popping bubbles. And now we'll give it a tilt. Yes. Too much colour on the canvas. So maybe just like half the amount that you would normally put. Um, to give room for the paint that you're injecting in and spreading around. Wow, this is so not what I was aiming for, but all at the same time, quite pretty colours together. Right. Right, so... A lot of bubbles in there. So there we have it. Not the plan, not how it is, but because we were so efficient in that, let's have a look at doing that again with what we learnt. So I'll change colours as well, just to change it up a bit and just grab a canvas. Right. 
So this one is an 8x10. Alright. So while I'm just doing this, I just want to say thank you to Sharon. She contributed to the channel and that is so very helpful. Thank you so much. And uh, that we are getting closer and closer to our, my, our, um, 20,000 subscribers. It's getting closer and closer each and every time I check. And I just wanted to say a big, huge thank you. So it means the world to me. All right, so straight into picking colors. So we'll go a little bit more vibrant this time. Let's stick with the primary colors, so to speak. So we'll go with a bit of crimson. And I might just, you know, because only doing half the amount. That's what we, I learned from the last one. That was a bigger canvas and uh, too much paint. So smaller canvas here, even less paint. Let's see what we can create in here. So two lots of yellow, two lots of blue, and two lots of red. And that's it. Give it a stir. Mix around. Okay. So again, that was the Creative Place Paints mixed with Atelier Pouring Medium and Floetrol. So, and Crimson, Ultramarine Deep and Cadmium Yellow Hue. Let's do... Let us see, we look like we've got plenty of room left around. Go a little bit more gently around the paint. I can see uh, faint lines of where the previous paint did suck up into the bottle, so I have to work on that. Just spreading it out towards the edge a bit more. The corners especially. All right. And now to go back into inject. So push it in underneath. Push it in. Cool. Underneath. There we go. Underneath. Okay. That looks like a much better size um, of paint, so the amount of paint was much better for that. And torch it first, clearing away all the bubbles. You can already see some reactions popping up in there. Now tilt it. Like my white is a lot runnier than my colours, which ugh, could be. So even that is still pretty. Here we go. Torch it out now that we've spread out the paint. And this reveals some of the further bubbles that were hidden underneath. So, good morning, Judy. Hope you have a wonderful day. Have you got much on? So, yeah, just having a look at that. Seeing what it does. And... 
there we go so have any of you seen Elise's um, videos um, if you haven't check her out I will put a link in there this is what gave me the inspiration to try it and this you know I didn't get it so um, even this possibly turned out to be too much paint so uh, perhaps this is an 8 by 10 size perhaps next time maybe like a shot glass size as though you were doing a flip and drag and then inject under that that might be a, a good amount so all right we're just about done does anybody have any questions before we go I'll just give you some close-ups oh boy of okay let's go to the first one first it is very different and that's what I like that's what inspired me when I saw Elise's to give it a go. Okay. We all have our techniques that we um, are drawn to and then we try something new. It's a great feeling. Like these colours just don't really match what's on the canvas, unfortunately. So we'll have to see how it dries and I'll be able to I haven't finished the video yet. I'll put the link up when I finish the video. Um, yeah, when they're dry, and I'll take them outside so that um, they, you might be able to see the best, best colours. So. Yeah, that's right, Leslie. Absolutely. Let us know how you go. Like this is, you can see the faint blue wash and the bit of green up there. A bit of brown there. That's where that white gets un injected underneath. So, here we go. So this one was with the red, blue, yellow for lack of better um, colour terminology. So your primary colours and with the white injection and the other one was pretty much your greens, blues and brown. So it's going for a more earthy type look. Alright, no more questions by the looks of it. Alright, thanks everybody for coming in and watching with me. I really hope you enjoyed that and or either learnt something from it because I know I did, that's for sure. So, all right. Thanks, everyone. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. Every bit helps. Night, Gail. Night, Mum. Gail. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Be kind, be creative and be fabulous. Bye.